Welcome to the 12 of our prayer program. Let's pray as we start. Father, we thank you for this day. We are coming before you with heart open to receive your word. We ask that all that you have for us, you will give to us. And that you will grant us the readiness to receive this word and take appropriate actions in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Now, we'll start today by looking at the book of Revelation chapter 2. We're going to read verse 4 to verse 5. He said, Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee. God is saying to us, Examine yourself. Because he just says, He's saying, I have something against you. You know, when God says, I am not happy with you, you need to think. You need to Im imagine what he's saying here. He said, I have something, some word against you, because thou hast left thy first love. Many of us believers were once committed and we are today. And so it says, you have left your first love, your first commitment, your first cons consecration, your first zeal, your first passion for God and the things of God. And so it says now, I have this against you, that you have changed. Your commitment was more than this before. You have changed. Your consecration to the Almighty God was more than this before. You have changed. You have left your first love. You pray more than this before. You read the Bible more than this before. You preach the gospel more than this before. You were passionate about the things of God more than this before. But now you have left that first love, verse 5. Remember, therefore, and that's why I titled this topic, Remember and Repent. Remember, therefore, from where thou hast fallen, and repent. So the topic again is, remember and repent. Can we consider, can we remember, can we reflect on our lives again and see, are there areas we need to repent? And there are things we need to correct. It says, remember therefore from where is that falling? At what point in our Christian commitment and consecration to the God have we changed? Have we adjusted to the world? Have we adjusted to the systems of the world that is actually sinful and defiling? And so it said, remember from where you are falling and repent. And do the first work. The evidence that you are getting back to your first love is to do the first work. You will have to do something as you used to do. Instead of do the first work, or else I will come unto you quickly and will remove that candlestick that that gives you light out of this out of this place, except thou repent. God says there are no two ways about it, except we repent. And return to our initial consecration and commitment to him, he will react. And when he reacts, he's reacting with anger. And when he does that, he puts away the light. When the light of a man is put off, he's dead. He dies spiritually and may even die physically. The body may separate from the soul suddenly. And so we must repent. And then he said, Believers. Can we reflect? Can we remember? Can we examine ourselves and see the areas where we need to return? Where we need to repent? To our earlier commitment, return. Our earlier uh, consecration, return. Our earlier passion for God in the things of God, return. As we are praying, God is challenging us. If you really want me to hear your prayer, if you really want me to attend to your need, then you will have to get back to your original conviction for me. And that is the challenge God is bringing our way. That we must repent. Let's go to ask this day. And begin to ask God for mercy. The areas of our need will be attended to, but He wants us to return. He wants us to repent. He wants us to get back to our commitment to God. If you are still a sinner, you have never been born again. You have never repented of your sin. You have always been in the sin, swimming in sin, living in sin, sleeping in sin, drinking in sin, fighting in sin, fornicating in sin, lying in sin, compromising in sin. Begin to ask God for mercy. 
Oh Lord, have mercy on me. My sins, I want you to be taken away. I know Jesus died on the cross for me. Wash me with the blood, mighty blood. Wash me with the blood, powerful blood. Wash me with the blood, cleansing blood. Wash me with the blood, saving blood. Wash me with the blood, securing blood. Wash me with the blood, sanctifying blood. Wash me with the blood, the blood of Jesus that was shed for me. And as you cry to the Almighty God, I promise you, according to the word of God, because he said, whoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. The Lord will save you. He will cleanse you. He will deliver you. He will redeem you. He will get you into his kingdom. And you will be a child of God. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Now you are going to pray now. We are looking at those of us that were once in Christ, but you bastarded. You went away. And you became less conscious of God. Can you begin to cry to God? I am a backslider. I have gone away from Christ. I wish I can come back. And now I'm coming back. Like the prodigal son. He said, I will go back to my father. I'm coming back to you, father. Cry to God as a pastor. I say, God, I come as a prodigal son. I come asking for your mercy. I come asking for your grace. I come asking for redemption. I come asking for restoration. I come asking for the renewal of my spirit. I want to have you again as my father. I once knew you. I once experienced you. I once served you. I once followed you. I once preach the gospel, but I have denied you. I ask for mercy. I ask for grace. I ask for redemption. I ask for restoration. Redeem my soul again. Rewrite my name in the book of life. That I will have your spirit. Come over me again. I will have your grace. Get into me again. I will have the righteousness. Get to come, take over my life again. And my life will be changed anew. I will be restored to my first love. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. I get to the category of people God asks us to pray, speak to today. And those are the people. We are still in Christ. We are still born again. But we are acting between two opinions. We are nearly going out of the kingdom. We are one leg in, one leg out. We are cold. We are not prayerful. We are prayerless. We don't study the Bible before. Begin to ask God, give me back my zeal. Give me back my zeal. Give me back the first law. I am returning to full commitment for you. I am returning to full zeal for you. I am returning to full commitment to you. I want to get back to what I used to be. Oh Lord, bring me back to the original conviction. Bring me back to the original lifestyle of a believer. Get me to where I belong. Get me to where I belong. Help me to be passionate again. Help me to be prayerful again. Help me to be studious of the word of God again. Help me to meditate on your word again. Help me not to be zealous for you again. Help me to be fervent again. Help me not to go and preach the gospel again. Help me not to do what you call me again. I get back to my conviction. I refuse to be cold. I refuse to be careless. I refuse to be careless. In the name of Jesus Christ, give me by the zeal of the beginning, believer, and make me to be on fire again. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. These three areas, Almighty God, I bring to you. We remember that there was a time we were sinners, and now you are calling all souls back to you. For you are not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Therefore, I pray for as many that are lost sinners. Real sinner, deep sinner, swallowing sin, living in sin, almost all the earlier they have been in this nature of sin. I pray you will save their soul. I pray you will redeem their soul. I pray you will restore them to yourself. You will get them out of the pit of sin, out of the slavery of Satan, and make them your child children again in Jesus' name. Wash their hearts. Wash their life. Wash their soul, wash their spirit, wash their entire being with the blood of Jesus. They will know you as their savior. They will serve you as your sons and daughters. Let it be, O oh God. And I'm asking for those that were once saved, but they have gone away. They are coming back. You will restore them to salvation. For believers that are careless, for believers that are prayerless, you will get us back to our first love. We remember, we repent, we return to our zeal for the Lord. And we'll serve the Lord for the rest of our life. Do it so and let your name be glorified. Thank you, Lord, for the answer. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. The Lord has done it and it is definite. Continue to be on fire for God. Serve Him and love Him. Never again get unserious with the things of God. But be on fire and be set ablaze 
by the fire of the Holy Ghost. That from this day and henceforth, we will serve God forever. With new zeal, with new commitment, with devotion. Deep one, they will meet him at last. In Jesus' name. God bless you.